Hi guys, I'm Lennox Bennett. Welcome to my YouTube channel again, guys. Today we're looking at a grid four worksheet. And basically what we're doing is plotting points on the coordinate and we're using the four quadrant. Now this is, when it's a four quadrant, it's cut up in quadrant, this is the first quadrant. So we can just, I could just indicate that this is very important. Two, three, and this is the fourth quadrant. Just in case, basically it's four quarters. All right. So in this, as you can see, this is the x-axis. I'm just going to leave it. It's very important for you guys to differentiate. Now the x-axis runs horizontally or from left to right. Why this is the y-axis runs up and down. So just a little bit of information before we go into it because it's very important. Now for each point, it has both. So let me just leave it. each point, it has both two coordinates, a left, a Jesus, a X and a Y. All right. So we read the X first, because that's how we come in the alphabet. Once you understand this, it's very easy. So the, the X axis runs from left to right and the Y axis up and down, all right? So let's get that out of the way. We read the X first. Let's go down to the points. I'm gonna plot the points. So the first point is A is equal to negative five and positive five. So what this indicates is that we must find x. Oh, by the way, guys, people in university mess up this. Remember me told you, mess up this all the time, all right? So it's very important to know. So first we find x, which is negative five, and then we go up to five, right? So it's the intersection. So right at this point, we have a, all right? So let's do some more points. I'm not gonna do all of them. All right. B says X is or oh, oh, something very important. You see the X axis is a line Y equals zero. So every point on this line, Y is zero, all right? So this one says X is four and Y is zero. So we just find right here would be B. So right here would be because Y is zero and X axis, very important. Right, let's move on to C, negative four and Y is zero. So come right here. All right, D now is X is negative five. So we locate negative five, right? And then four, negative four. So this point would be D. Let's move on to E, two, two. We know that once it's positive, it's gonna fall in the first quadrant. So two, two. And this was what, E? Right, let's look at F. F says negative three, two. So first we have to find the X, which is negative three. And then one positive one, so we go up. So basically it's the intersection of both. And I see my students, my seventh graders will draw the lines and the intersection, and it's perfectly fine. G now, five, negative two so we locate five and then we go down to negative two and that is g h is three five so it's positive three and positive five as you can see both of them are positive so it's three in the 
and this is h let's move on to the next one i want you guys to plot this one for me negative three and positive two so do that before me parents just check negative three and two and the j negative two zero let's see how well you guys can do that so it's negative three positive two all right by now you should have indicated where it was so it's negative three and positive two so h that was that would be i i and i i want to rule my destiny all right the next one that i want you guys to do is this one we're gonna do j negative two zero negative two zero this one right here is j negative two zero Remember the line x, the x axis is the line y equals zero, and the y axis x is zero. So this is the line x equals zero. So if x was zero, like you add zero one, it would fall on this line, right? Right here. All right. So just want to indicate that so people can get the full understanding of this. So let's just go back down and see what we're doing. Negative two, zero. So it's going to fall on the x-axis because y is zero. And let it be right here. And that was what? J or Jamaica, right here, right? Don't think we're going to do all of them. It's not necessary unless, all right, four, negative two. I'm going to give you guys one minute to indicate where that is. Four negative two. Four and positive four and negative two. And that would be first if I find it on the x-axis, that's four and it's negative two, so it would be right here. So this would be what k. Right, you see that a b c and then the last one l negative one and negative five. Negative one and negative five. And that is for Lennox channel. All right. Hope you guys learned. We'll be doing this further on, straight up to C sec level. No matter how, if you're going to do the sciences, you will have to draw graphs and support physics, chemistry, and biology. Also in maths. So, guys, just make sure you're taking all of this. All right. This is Mr. Benny. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. And I will see you guys in my next video. I'm out, no doubt.